You've heard of model planes, but reporter Bill Clayton has the story of a UNC researcher who's making model plants in his lab. That's what UNC biologist Adrian Lazo is doing in his latest study. Lazo is examining growth hormones in order to create plants that grow faster and stronger. He does this by first isolating specific plant hormones. The desired hormones go into petri dishes and start to grow. Once the plants begin to sprout, researchers transfer them to soil. Lazo says the resulting plants and the hormones they contain can then influence genetically modified foods. Research like ours has and historically had a great impact on agricultural practices and the future could affect things such as ripening speed or crop yield or things like that. You may think the results of Lazo's study will be affecting exotic fruits and vegetables, but more commonly, they'll influence things like this green pepper that you and I eat every day. Chapel Hill chef Jesse Barnes says he has no problem with the genetic modification of foods he cooks with. If produce turns out this big and excellent, I say let genetic modification continue. Genetically modified foods have been on the market for nearly 20 years, and they keep getting bigger and better. In Chapel Hill, I'm Bill Clayton, Carolina Week. You might see more genetically altered foods, but one thing you might be seeing less of is the End Zone Sports Cafe. Carolina Dining Services wants these empty tables and chairs filled. CDS wants students to keep coming back to End Zone, so managers are turning to the student body for their input. Last week, the Daily Tar Heel mistakenly reported End Zone would be closing down for good. Director of Auxiliary Services Mike Freeman says the plan is not to close, but to scale back and look for new ways to attract students. But without knowing what we're going to do, it'd be, I'm a little hesitant to say that, you know, we know exactly when the new end zone, or whatever we want to call it, will be. There's been recent talk of a Taco Bell, Alpine Bagel, or other restaurant to replace end zone if it closes. Whether at the end zone, Ram's Head, or Lenore, it seems like more and more food is showing up on all of our plates. Reporter Michael Sacklaridis has the story of the ever-growing portion sizes showing up on your dinner table. During the past 20 years, portion sizes have grown, in some cases, more than 100% adding to the nation's obesity epidemic. And as people eat more and more, restaurant managers feel the need to enhance their offerings with supersized meals. Take this serving of french fries, nearly 600 calories. That's about 400 more than it was 20 years ago. This meal right here, definitely not on the spring break diet. If you are unaware of these unreal meal increases, you're not alone. We asked several students outside Lenore Dining Hall how many calories they think are in a regular serving of french fries. 300? <laughs> 300. 300. 1,100. 200. 2,000. Whether the guess is high or low, the results are showing up around waistlines across America. To fight off those pesky pounds that come with increased portion sizes, take these tips into account the next time you dine. Share a meal with a friend. Eat half or less of what's on your plate and bring the rest home. Skip a second helping when you're at a buffet. And finally, eat slower. Don't rush through your meal. Remember, these simple tips could help you live a healthier and slimmer lifestyle. In Chapel Hill, I'm Michael Sacklaridis, Carolina Week. Doctors and dietitians say there's no replacement for eating smart and getting plenty of exercise. February is Black History Month, a time for students to learn about the political struggles that took place here in the 1960s. A new exhibit called I Raised My Hand to Volunteer is on display in Wilson Library. There are lots of pictures from the 1960 civil rights demonstration on Franklin Street. There's also a letter from J. Edgar Hoover about communists on college campuses and a letter written on a paper towel by a UNC student jailed after a civil rights march. The display runs through May 31st. If you've been waiting for a computer makeover, Windows Vista is finally here. On Tuesday, Microsoft released the latest edition of Windows, which it says is the easiest, safest, and most entertaining operating system yet. The new Windows features a complete makeover of its interface, including a redesigned start menu and a glassier look. Microsoft student ambassador Lauren Cohen says it's worth upgrading to the new Windows. Even though, yes, Vista does use more memory, yes, Vista is a larger operating system XP, but also the features, the um, ease of use, the security especially. There's a lot of new security features built into Vista. 
The Home Basic Upgrade Edition costs about $100, and the Full Ultimate Edition costs more than $350. And we're joined now by weathercaster Jonathan O. Hey, Johnny. Hi. Johnny, uh, what is all this talk of snow? Well, it's on its way. Like I said earlier, there's a storm system moving from the west and moving its way toward the east. And so be prepared. And colder, temperature, uh, colder temperatures are also on their way. But can we expect a whiteout back at Duke's Cable, my neck of the woods, or just some cold Cameron crazies? I'll have the answer after the break.